Сейчас у нас в работе. Вот работа у нас есть. Now we have local cost estimates that we have approved. There are some closed ones that have not been completed. We are no longer interested in them. It is 1.5 billion in total. Even more, 1.7, 1.8 billion. Now we have signed 62 local estimates for a total of 704 million 668,073 rubles, 28 kopecks. The amount of work closed under these local estimates is 231 million 739,409 rubles, 25 kopecks. I had a slip of a tongue, 22 kopecks and 25 kopecks. There are 272 million 612,000 112 rubles, 16 kopecks left to pay for these local estimates. These are the works that we'll have to pay for at completion. But we still have other local cost estimates, the work on which has not yet been performed. Why? Because, and we just talked about that to Alexander. You start to calculate the estimate. You have calculated it in advance. A month later it is absolutely irrelevant. Everything does not work there. You need to recalculate. So there is no point in doing it. But nevertheless, evaluating by the similarity of the completed work, we have not finished the third floor of the production and from 16th to 23rd access, where there are household premises, administrative premises for the supply service, sales department and so on. These access, we haven't finished them and other things as well. Plus we also have another unpleasant job, which is erecting of noise-absorbing screens around climate control units. We have a fence, a noise screen, between our plot and the plot of the gardening community. There are battles going on right now about what it should be. We are looking at the P stage, the design stage, what is specified there. And how to make sure that we find a solution. Because there are some differences in the P stage and in the working documentation. That's what we are now doing. We are bringing them up to speed now, in order to finalize more estimates. So, bottom line. As of today, to complete these works, we need, but this is not an absolute figure. I can't say what will happen next. It's a calculated figure. It is 742 million, 612 thousand, 112 rubles, 16 kopecks. And there is also a sum that will be needed when we draw up a conclusion on the completion of the construction. Some defects will be eliminated, maintenance of the building and the staff obtaining a permit for commissioning so that we can start working. Here are the numbers. There are other figures. You must have observed how dynamically the works have been going on lately. Why have they been progressing? Because you invested. All the works are directly related to the rate of investment. If we had the money, we could have 700 people there. But you have to pay for all of this. No one will work without money. Therefore, how quickly the work will be completed, how quickly we will put the facility into operation, colleagues, it depends on you. We can recalculate 20, 30 times, make all kinds of forecasts, but they will only be forecasts. And what has been, what has passed? It has been done. You can see it. What is still to come? We have a few steps left in the project. Before the normal economic activity starts. The first one is to finish construction, to obtain a conclusion on completion of construction. The second is to obtain a permit for commissioning. The third is to take ownership of the land. Fourth, to put it all on the balance sheet. Fifth, to make an assessment of tangible and intangible assets. Sixth, to carry out corporatization. Seventh, to assign solo group shares to investors who have invested. Some part of it will be managed by solo group, and what should be assigned will be assigned. These are the stages. What stages do we know? What can we know? It is that now we are in the process of implementing right now. In the last webinar, we said that it is 62 local estimates. I can show you this. These sheets of paper, graphs. And we have talked about what the amount 
is in the local estimates. Again, it is 704 million 673 rubles, 22 kopecks. That's from last week's webinar. There were 272 million 612,112 rubles, 16 kopecks left to pay. That's what I can say. Why? Because it's calculated. And what about today? Today the situation is different. Let's remember it was 704 million, now it is 686 million, 632,700 rubles and some kopecks. Let me be more precise. 223 million, 617,540 rubles and 33 kopecks. While it was how much? 231 million. The amount has already changed. And the sum of 704 has turned into 686. The calculations, estimates, continue. Oh, this is dynamic. A week has passed, the amount has changed. This is what is real, calculated and accounted for. And what is still in the estimates? What we'll have to calculate. And we'll have to attract more funds. It is somewhere around 470 million. But we haven't calculated this yet. And no local estimates of this amount have been made yet. Because we have only had a few local estimates, which we have recently approved and added to the list. But I can say another thing. That literally, tomorrow or Monday this picture will change. This is a dynamic process. It does not stand still. And when we talked about what results were achieved, they were achieved thanks to increased receipts compared to previous years of funds to the Sovelmash settlement account. This allowed us to intensify the works, practically come to the end of works on external engineering networks, on territory improvement, preparation for winter, connection to heat. Now the issue of heat connection is not de facto, but de jure. It lies in the plane of documentary registration. There are certain procedures. We are dealing with these procedures. And on each of these procedures has a certain DT, the time value by which they are performed. Therefore, when we get to the point where the completion report will be issued, I don't know. Why? Because I don't know what amounts will come into the settlement account. There are two ways. Either do according to how much comes or write a program. How much should come each month. But I cannot write such a program because I'm not involved in fundraising. I have another job. If we are going to approve some amounts on a monthly basis, it means that someone knows how much money investors will bring in. I wouldn't take the, that responsibility on me. Because I see some things. I look at some things. This value is not constant. Yes, it could be based on statistics. I lived in my city. I once calculated the crematorium. I proposed to build it. They say to me, what are you doing? There are not enough corpses for it to work properly. I say, guys, wait, soon there will be enough. Now they say, you know, you're right then. Well, okay, it's a sad thing, but still. Nevertheless, what are the odds? I don't know. Because if the money comes in volumes of 90, 60 million, we can say that it will be the first or second quarter. There is another nuance. A lot will depend on how thoroughly and competently the documents will be prepared because 36 folders of documents are not easy to prepare. We are doing this and have been doing it for quite a long time. Starting from windows against plywood and so on, thermal radiation of the building, payment for emissions into the atmosphere during construction. All of this is paid for, done. The references, all the documents are stacked. Disposal of soil. All documents are filed, trackers, where, they were taken, are made by rooters. Disposal of reinforced concrete, scrap, soil, everything is calculated and put in a folder. We are doing all this. We have been doing it for a long time. We are preparing it, but... I have repeatedly asked other people, other companies, how much time they spent on this. Just on registration. The most careless, unscrupulous ones, where they have the state budget, which does not drip by the scruff of the neck. Well, it took them up to 12 months. It's just getting an opinion, a document on the completion of construction. They file and return it. File it and return it. 
I think that we will not be satisfied with this in any form. And the completion certificate should be issued as soon as possible in accordance with the green card. Remember, we had a green card, I published it. It's on the website somewhere, right? Yes, it sets out those time scales, and I hope that we will meet those time scales. I hope, and I repeat, I hope. And after that, we can proceed with the authorization for commissioning. But usually this process goes more briskly. And this is the amount that we stipulated in the last webinar, which has already been adjusted to today. 742 million. It includes all the work up to the time of receiving the completion certificate. But we need it not by the time of receiving the conclusion, because it is already the jury registration. But we need it de facto, we need to complete. And when we complete the construction, so that we have the right to apply, this amount must be received. 